Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. There are some projects when you first stumble upon those projects, you simply get a wow factor. You start saying to yourself that this is a project which was badly needed. And then when you start going into that project, start implementing it, then you start getting a bit disappointed. I believe this Align Anything is one such project with one exception. It definitely gives you the wow factor around the fact that this is what is badly needed and missing from the industry at the moment. When you start going into this project, yes, it gives you disappointment, but then there is a hope. The hope is that if they could only improve their documentation and bit of implementation, I think this could be a really big thing. Let me try to explain this project in very simple words and I will also show you a bit of a hands-on later in the video. And hopefully you will also appreciate that why I think that this project is what is badly missing in the industry. Now the thing is that if you have been following my channel, you might have noticed that I cover a lot of large language models, lot of tools and other concepts around AI and machine learning in very simple words, of course. One thing where we often get questions is that how to fine tune the model, how to train the model, how to create a custom data set. And I have covered various tools and we have done heaps of videos around it. But to be honest, still the process is quite cumbersome and it is quite taxing, especially for the people who are not coming from the machine learning or AI background. That is why I believe this project holds a lot of promise, but I believe this could do a lot more in order to make it more user friendly. Plus, I think this is one area of the field where really we need improvement. All of these deep seeks and open AIs and clouds and all those tooling, agentic and browser use, MCPs are good. But I think let's cover the basics first. So if you're looking for a startup idea or a tool idea, I think this is where we need to work on. So what exactly this Align Anything project is? I think this would be better explained by this video. Align Anything enables you to align any modality, large models to any other modality. What it means, modality simply means is there are different modalities of models. Some models deals with text, some models deal with audio, some with video or some with audio. Now, there are a few models which deal with multiple modalities at the same time. And that is why we call them multimodal models. Now, when we say align, it simply means that we align the model to human intentions and values and the human and intentions and values come from the data set. So we primarily fine tune or train the model on our own data set. Align anything aligns any modality to any modality. So for example, if you have a text model, you align it to image through the data set, of course, and then so on and so forth. So this idea really is simply mind blowing, right? So for example, you have a lot of data around images or text, you pick up any model and you fine tune, or, uh, fine tune it on any modality by using simple steps, which they have shown in their repo. And that is where it makes a lot of sense. Let me show you those steps. So if you look here on the left hand side, the first in the greet one, we are simply loading the model in this case, Lava, of course. And then we are defining a chat template. This chat template simply is defining what exactly our data set looks like. And then we are processing that chat template and it is returning us the output after decoding it and we are getting the response back. In terms of training, on the right hand side, you see first we are initializing the model and then determining the modality and we are also setting our alignment. Then we are formatting our data set in the second step. And then on the third step, we are loading all the data sets, whatever modalities they are. And then we are doing the training as per our use case. There could be a supervised fine tuning. 
where you have some instructions or question answer and then we have dpo which is direct preference optimization where you have accepted and rejected answers and there's a ppo where you only provide the prompts and then of course we have grpo for reasoning i'm not really sure if it supports grpo or not but anyway i think it shouldn't be that hard so this is how easy it is in order to align this any model from any modality to any other modality having said that i think this is something which could be implemented they have tried to implement it and i will shortly show you how but i think i haven't seen you know more <laughs> poor documentation than this uh if you go through it it is really really jumbled up but anyway we will try to follow their quick start the idea which i am going to cover here is just to give you an idea how you can use this tool to do what i have just told you but i think they could do a lot of work not only on their examples but also on the implementation and code because at the moment i don't think so it is really aligned so let me take you to my terminal i'm going to use a vm and gpu sponsored by our very good friend that mast compute if you are also looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% okay so this is my ubuntu system by the way and this is my gpu card and vdr rtx 6000 with 48 gb of vram first up let me git clone the repo of a line anything and i will drop the link to it in video description too and that is done next up let's create a virtual environment with conda and this is highly highly recommended that you do that not mandatory but i would highly suggest you do that while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation okay let's go back our environment is almost done and now we need to install the cuda because i'm using the gpu with it this is going to take few minutes and next we can install our software the align anything with all the dependencies from the root of the repo and everything is installed let me open it in vs code to show you how the scripts and training looks like in the vs code just go to scripts directory and there are a lot of um, scripts which they have shared which is good but um, i think they really need better documentation around it well i will stop whinging and let's go to the lava one that is the uh, stuff which they have shared so lava dpo the direct preference optimization so this is what it looks like so it downloads the model first as you can see it is specifying a data set for training and there is also a training default template this is where it puts your uh, lava deep direct preference optimized one it is then using deep speed to align the model with your data set so in very simple words but all it is doing it is fine tuning your model on your data set with a simple command or a four step process which i showed you earlier and the good thing about this tool is that it standardizes this process for any modality and that is why i was saying earlier that this really gives you a wow factor okay so this is what this looks like let me start the process i'm not going to go uh, all the way through because this is going to take some time so i'll just go to the scripts directory and then from here all you need to do is to just run this maybe i'll just because i am already in that okay so okay maybe i'll just keep the lava and then let's run it and there you go so it is running at the moment it is downloading the model and the data set and it is initializing the training which is going to take bit of a time there you go so download is happening so let's wait to see what it does so anyway i will let this training process to run because there are two epochs and it is going to take few hours 
Now, the main point of this framework is that it really allows us to easily scale from one modality to another for any model, which really is a tall order. I hope that they also release some more notebooks and cookbooks to just show the modern models because there is another thing which I believe they need to fix is that they are mainly using Lava models and few others. There are some coin models. I think it will be good to also try this one out at some of the latest models, especially the reasoning models and with GRPO. Anyway, let me know what do you think. If you are aware of any other tool which is more modern and clear than this let me know which does a similar thing by the way i haven't found any so that is why i'm really hoping that these guys would uh, really um, you know improve it in order to get it working for more uh, workable use cases if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching